Hey guys, welcome back to Freshman Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're here in Nassau, Bahamas on board the MSC Divina and today we are going to go check out the Margaritaville Resort. Just down the road here. So make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Let's go. Like Louis said, we are here and we are in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. We've been here a thousand times, but we love coming here because there's always something fun to do. So we decided to not put something through the uh, through the cruise terminal or through the cruise ship, and we actually got um, a deal with Resort Pass. So let will tell you more about that a little bit later. But we're gonna head on over there. Ready? It's just a short 15 minute walk down the street. Yeah. All right. Let's go check out the new cruise terminal. That's pretty new. Um, yeah. I'm gonna. See what's at the resort. So earlier, Lewis caught the Carnival Magic pulling into port right next to us. That was pretty cool. So we'll put that time lapse in here. Um, it's pretty interesting how they, you know, finagle these big old boats to get in these little tiny slips. One day, guys. One day, I will get Lewis to take me on the Disney Wish. One day. Do you, would you go on a Disney cruise? Yeah, but this is so crazy expensive. That's true. So it's like it's always. It's a trade-off, right? You know, we can go on two, three, four, five other cruises, or we can go on one of those. We can go on 14 MSC cruises, or we can go on one Disney Wish cruise. <laughs> so we have Holland America and Carnival Elation also in port today. So we've never been on a Carnival cruise or a Holland America cruise. I've heard good things about Holland America. I hear mixed things about Carnival. So yeah, let us know in the comments down below if you've ever been to, I guess, been on either of those ships. So, all right, guys, we are just at the, uh, I guess, end or start of the cruise port, depending on which way, which way you're looking at it. But this is brand new. I'm not sure what this is, but they have this really cool, like, screen here. And we just saw this giant octopus pop out of it. That's pretty cool. Not a happy eye. It's gonna come back around, too. Ah! Yeah, I, I know it's coming across a little fuzzy for you guys, but this is still, still kind of cool. Let all the water out of the tank, bro. And of course, there's lots of shopping in here. Yes. So, what's interesting about this port, though, you know, it is the most busy port in the Caribbean, you know, outside of the United, outside of the United States. But you have to have a uh, valid cruise card to get in here too. So, mm -hmm. uh, the only locals that are in here are going to be the people that are operating these shops. So you're not really getting hassled like you typically would out on the street either. You know, if you're looking for a hassle-free shopping experience, then this is. A uh, great place to come and, and do some shopping. Although I imagine you're probably going to pay a premium for that if yeah. you go out on the street where the locals are. I think you can get a much better deal. Yeah. Now there is plenty of shopping just outside of the straw market as well. So don't think you only can get your souvenirs inside the straw market. You definitely can go just outside and there's shops and all kinds of things there too. You even have a little, uh, you even have a little Instagram spot here. How cute's that? So we've actually done this one other time when we were uh, in Freeport. So link that video down below. Highly recommend that. It's a really cute experience. All right, guys, so we just got off the cruise. We just got out of the cruise port directly behind me. Uh, and you may think that you can access the Margaritaville through this dock here. However, you cannot. So instead, we're going to have to go down this road here around Senior Frogs. Uh, and come oh back around the block. Yeah. It should only be about a 15 minute walk. All right, cool. Ready? Let's go. The shotgun will be on the side. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it up water park at Margaritaville. Yeah. Make sure you guys are following the signs to the water park because um, it's going to tell you to go somewhere different, right, depending upon where, you know, where it is that you're going. All right, guys, so we made it to the Fins Up Water Park. Woo! All right, guys, so we just got here to the Fins Up Water Park. So a little bit about how we got access to this area. Uh, we purchased the tickets through Resort Pass. So basically we get a full day access, which is like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. access here. Depends up. We also shelled out a little bit extra to get a private cabana. So I'm very excited about that. So all in all, uh, I think normal tickets to the water park are about $100 per person. Uh, with cabana and tax and everything, we're in it for about $325, which is a little bit more pricey than a lot of the excursions that were available. Uh, but this time we wanted to stay, stay on the main island. We didn't really feel like going out to like Blue Lagoon is a little bit cheaper option. Uh, but this is still more affordable than if you were to go to like Atlantis or something. So we're gonna go check it out. But we'll put a link below to where we've gone to Blue Lagoon previously. Uh, and you can do all kinds of cool stuff over there like do sea lion encounters, swim with dolphins, a bunch of fun stuff. And it's got beautiful beaches too. So the gentleman who trips in the front desk is super helpful. Um, but we have a little bit of an update. So what are gonna, what's gonna happen today? All right, so he's telling us uh, that basically that the cabanas that we reserved are really wet it's because it's been raining today. Mm -hmm. uh, and that it's probably not gonna be an enjoyable time to sit in the cabanas. Uh, so instead, he recommended that we go ahead and 
take up one of the free uh, lounge shares that they have around the pool. So we're gonna take that advice and then uh, we can also get a refund, partial refund, at least in the cabana part, which was like 80 bucks or something. Yeah. So we're gonna take take that uh, take up on that offer and we're just gonna lounge around in the free um, lounges around the pool. Okay, so we're gonna find a nice, quickly quiet spot uh, and yeah, just see what there is to see and go for a swim and it's kind of into the day. I am actually craving something to drink, so maybe we'll get some sodas because for wild kids these days, oh yeah. We found a spot here, some, uh, some chairs. We have our own umbrella, so it's very nice. Um, yeah, so far, pretty cool vibe. Yeah, and so these chairs are free with your admission. So it's definitely a pretty good option if you don't want to get one of the cabanas. All right guys, so before we get in the water, we're gonna do just a quick walk around tour of the resort and see what there is to see. So we're starting off here. This is one of like the kind of kiddie area here. They got a nice splash pad and an uh, interesting water slide as well. And a couple of them, so they got this open air one and they got those two over there. So that's pretty cool. I don't think there's an age limit on those slides. I'll probably have to ride them okay. later today. Too. For they're, science? Yeah, and they're not very busy either. Which no, is nice too. right. So for some wayfinding here, so that is where we came in. The women's bathroom is over here. The men's bathroom is over here. There are some lockers. Uh, I think there might be like a bar or another lookout point over there. So we'll, we'll, we'll go check that out in a second. But painting over this way, where you guys see those two towels right there, that's where we're posted up for the day. Yeah, so that's right over at the zero entry pool. And they do have a, uh, what do you call that? Lizzie River, we're wrapped around this whole thing too. So heading over this way. My favorite thing to do at this water park and any water park is the Lazy River. And that's yes. a big reason why we chose Margaritaville. Because yes. What's a day in the sun without a lazy river? You gotta be lazy. All right, I'm here for it. And one way you can access the kitty area, like the, the splash pad, or where we're sitting is up these steps and over that bridge. And just past the steps on the left hand side is the like bar service area, takeaway food uh, area if you want to order some food. And here's the product of the menu. Those are all drinks. Those are drinks, right. So I mean, so 15 bucks for a drink, eh, kind of expensive, but I guess Bahama prices, right guys? And then here is the menu. So chicken wrap, 18 bucks. Guacamole is 14, and uh, be tried as well, right. And of course, the rules, because, you know, rules. One thing I love about this place is how well things it is. That's a shower, y'all, on a surfboard. I mean, can we have one of those for the house, for the outside? Sure, <laughs> a, lot, a lot better than the shower that was on Thailand. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, all right. And uh, Lewis will link the video down below. <laughs> we spent about almost a month in Thailand and we had a great time. But there it was, was just... an interesting outdoor shower. It was an interesting outdoor shower to say the least. So there are some uh, chairs here. So if you want to sit at a table, there's one here. And going over this way, more of the Lazy River. Lewis is telling me that they actually have cliff jumping here. Um, I don't know if that's something that patrons can do or if yeah. it's like, are you serious? Yeah, we can do it. It's 11 feet deep. You could do it. I'm not doing that. I'll do it. Okay. Don't worry, y'all. The insurance premiums are paid up. <laughs> so, you know, say a prayer. <laughs> right, and so directly behind me, there's also an infinity pool, but unfortunately that is not available with the um, resort pass or with the water park area. But if you're staying here at the, if you're staying here at the hotel, you, I think you do get access to that area. So it's a really neat, nice infinity pool right up there on the top. But another option that is available with the resort pass is they also, also have a spa pass you can purchase for an additional i think it's like 80 bucks uh and the spa is inside there you don't get a massage or anything like that but you do get access to the spa area if you want like a quiet chill calm place to relax and you know maybe you could do the uh, sauna that sort of thing so other things of note here there is a rock climbing wall if that's your bag but there's also this uh whoa rider situation no thank you hard pass did that one time in my early 20s got my you know what rock so no we're good it's, it's not as easy as they make it look. No, it's not. It's not. And here is access to the beach if you're interested in swimming there. And those will take you guys out there in a little bit. All right, so here we are on the beach. So this is a beautiful beach. The water here is gorgeous, nice and calm. Um, and, we'll, and so they have plenty of seating here as well. You can, if you're part of the Margaritaville Resort, you come out here and you can take a lounge chair. They also have beds here available mm -hmm. on the beach as well. You, you can re reserve those with your resort pass if you want. Uh, although this part of the beach may look a little bit calmer right now, it's actually a public beach, mm -hmm. and so really anybody can walk out here. Um, you know, but if you want to use the amenities that are here, like the, the chairs and stuff, you have to have uh, the wristband. 
Wow, you're, you're officially official, honey. They also have a variety of water sports activities. I see uh, some like paddle boards and stuff, uh, that sort of thing. That's You can rent those for an additional cost. So there are day beds here too that you can rent. What just happened, babe? <laughs> All right, so it is March 2nd. Uh-huh. Yeah, water's a little chilly. Is it? You know, I don't think it's that bad. Oh, in, okay, uh, maybe it's a little cold. If you're up in the Midwest or New England, you, you know, you probably be all Yeah, right. okay, it is cold. <laughs> I don't think I'll be, I don't know, maybe. I brought, I brought my snorkeling, but we'll yeah, see. Maybe it'll okay. get hot. All right. The that, sun can come out. Yeah, it is It is a little overcast, y'all, for sure. So comparatively speaking, I think the pool must be heated because <laughs> the pool was not this cold. So we can confirm we're at Jimmy Buffett's when Lewis decides to step on a pop tab. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So we have had a mixed bag with Margaritaville. So last year, Lewis convinced me to go on the Margaritaville at sea. Uh, it was definitely an experience. Make sure you guys just check it around because we will be comparing that cruise versus this cruise. And uh, we have some thoughts already. Those are the two cheapest cruises in America. Yeah. So are either of them worth the, month, the time or the money? I'll let you know in a future video. You guys can kind of see right there that nice blue line of water. Yeah, that's the Infinity Pool. Directly behind me is the main part of the public beach. So that is accessible pretty much to anybody. And really, all the beach is public. So if you walked in that side, you could walk down here. Uh, but you can definitely see how much busier it is down there. It's mm -hmm. uh, a, lot, a lot more cramped than if you come down here to the Margaritaville side. Hey, okay, cool. Nice little uh, place to wash your feet off. Right up the steps. The beach. I feel like I should be getting more than just YouTube ad revenue for this guy. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> all right, heading this way. And Lewis will take you guys all through there later, don't worry about it. Oh, we even have wildlife here at Margaritaville. All right, we're gonna leave you alone, buddy. But as I was saying, Lewis will take you guys all through there later and uh, show you guys all the fun spots. Hey guys, heading up the gangplank here. Overlooking the uh, sitting area, the pool. I wonder if that's another little pool up there, maybe. Looks like it, perhaps. Watch out, yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll have to go check it out. It's pretty cool. Oh no, a bohemian traffic jam. <laughs> that's funny. That was that old Malibu rum commercial? Seriously easy going. Oh, but it's total gridlock. And uh, just through those trees, you guys can see the MSC Davina. That's the boat we're on. That's pretty cool, seeing our boat from here. So you see it's not a very far walk at all. No, it probably took us, I mean, maybe 20 minutes because we, we were we recorded. Were walking but slow and be looking at the shops. And, yeah. yeah. So next we're going to head over to the lighthouse. Check that out. So I guess it's employees only. I thought I saw a YouTube video where someone went up there, but maybe not. Yeah. Maybe it, it's like it a open. private, you no, know, it it's not, we're not breaking the rules. <laughs> <laughs> What a goober. The snorkeling here is amazing. Well, yeah. Through the jellies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're done here. I'm telling you what, guys, I married a big kid. For sure. For sure. All right, guys, now we are going to rent a locker, throw our stuff in there, and then switch over to the GoPro and another 360 and do all the fun things. Let's go. Uh, locker rentals are $13.80. All right, guys, so we're getting in the water in the pool. We're going to take a lap around the lazy river. Let's go. I can tell you the water in the pool is. Uh, not much warmer than the water on the beach. It's pretty cold. Ooh, but the uh, current and the lazy river's moving, we gotta find a tube. I know maybe they're all back there where that traffic jam was. Bye. Bye, someone. Bye. In addition to not being able to rent the lockers without a credit card, you also can't buy any food or drink here without a credit card. It's all cashless, which is pretty surprising to me. I don't know how we missed that tidbit of information. Uh, I left my credit card back on the cruise ship because we had plenty of cash and I just didn't want to deal with it. Um, yeah, it's, you know, international charges and stuff. Uh, with my American Express, I don't get charged international, but I still just didn't feel like messing with it. I know the Bahamas, they do typically take US currency. So uh, I didn't bring it. So we, I may end up being, I may end up having to run back to the ship uh, and grab our credit cards if you want to buy anything while we're here. This is the look of a disapproving wife when you get stuck in the lazy river and you're not moving fast enough for her. Being too lazy, this is the look you get. Come here, let me grab a hold of you then we won't get lost. All right. 
one of us is adults in a prison, and that's not me. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna head on up and see if we can check out some of these water slides. All right, so over the monkey bridge, and the little monkeys are shooting water. So there's a lifeguard up here, she's kind of hiding up in a hole there, so it's hard. Didn't know she was there, but she startled me. Uh, but she's the one kind of directing how many people are going and when they're going to make sure they're not crashing into each other at the bottom. Didn't say anything about the GoPro though, so. Here we go. Really dark. I can't see anything in front of me. Oh, I smacked into the wall. Oh! <laughs> that was fun. Alright, now we're gonna try to think one. <laughs> see if I can avoid smacking my head on this one. Whoa, oh, it's dark in here too. Okay, a little bit more light. Oh, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Woo. Oh boy. The next up is a cliff jump. 11 foot pool. Let's go. All right, it's pretty, definitely pretty high. All right, here we go. Woo. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. So that was a cliff that I just jumped off of. And then up this set of stairs, there's a hot tub. So we're gonna go check that out. Ooh, you got a nice little private area up here too. Oh my goodness. Look at that view. That is spectacular. Amazing view of the beach from up here. You can see just how clear, and like aquamarine that water is. Especially now the sun is out, it's gorgeous. All right, here is the hot tub. See if we can find out how to turn it on here. All right, so here's the little control panel. So you lift up the side there and push and hold that button. And then the lights come on, so I don't know how long it's gonna run for, but the jets are running, so we're gonna give it a shot here. Lots of sand in this hot tub. I mean, it's a little warm. It's a, it's a warm tub. I don't think it's hot, but it's a nice little area up here we can kind of overlook. The rest of it I mean, maybe maybe the jets a little warm but it's not it's not hot not by any means all right guys so next up the ocean is calling and i'm gonna go see what's under that water so let's go for a quick dip have fun freezing can confirm the water has not warmed up at all it's cold Christine seems to think that if I go over here by these pylons, I'm probably gonna find some fish, which may be true. But also last time that we went snorkeling in the Bahamas, uh, that was over at Coco Cay. I did something similar to that and I found a shark and that was pretty scary. So <laughs> always a little bit nervous about swimming around fish in the ocean because that's where the sharks are too. They like to eat the fish. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so that was super cool. Um, I mean, I would not say that that is the best snorkeling I've ever seen. Not by a long shot, in fact. Uh, but yeah, there is some sand over there. There is some seagrass over there and there were a bunch of fish kind of hanging out. A bunch of those uh, needle pencil fish that were, they're pretty good size. They're maybe a foot, foot and a half long. Um, saw a bunch of those striped fish that kind of, I don't know if they're, if they're actually sheep's head or just something that looks similar, but definitely the highlight, the bell of the ball, was that gigantic puffer fish that I what? saw. What? Ugh. This is what happens when you don't bring your own snorkel. So I saw him twice. I had to snorkel, snorkel back around to find him. So you can still borrow this if you want to go see him. 
But uh, yeah, it's not one of the real spiky fish, but it's like... It, it, no, it wasn't puffed out, but it was huge. He was big. He was like the ones you see in the aquarium, so that was cool. Yeah. Hope I got some good shots of him. He was kind of far away. He didn't let me get too close. Well, I wonder why. He didn't want to puff up. Yeah, so hopefully that came across on camera. But that was pretty neat. Uh, I think we're going to head back inside and just chill out, relax, and enjoy the rest of our day. So if there's anything more notable, we'll catch up with you in a minute. Yeah, I don't know if it's coming across so well on the GoPro, but man, the, the public part of the beach, like I said, all of the things are really public, but that part of the beach you can get to for free, yeah. um, it's packed. There's a lot of people over there. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our time here at uh, the Margaritaville at the uh, water park. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I really enjoyed it. We had a really great time hanging out and just, you know, kind of relaxing by the pool. It was a really cool day. So uh, yeah, here is uh, Lewis right there with the pro tips. All right guys, so here are your pro tips for visiting Fins Up Water Park here at Margaritaville Resort in Nassau, Bahamas. i say number one are the things that you need to bring. Uh, definitely bring your sunscreen, bring your gog uh, your goggles and your snorkel equipment if you, wanna, if you want that. And bring your credit card because they don't take cash, you can't even pay with your phone. So credit card is a must have. Pro tip number two is what not to bring, and that is you don't need a towel. They provide that here for you. And pro tip number three is make sure that you're wearing shoes when you're walking around the resort area here. It is very wet and very slippery and I fell and I bounced. So I'm all right, but just be careful out there. Uh, and we'll give you a bonus pro tip is uh, the water park is actually on the side of the resort. So don't go through the front entrance. Instead, you want to come around to the side. That's how you're going to access the water park by visiting those windows directly behind me. So that's going to do it for us today, guys. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. You really help us out. And with that being said, we're out of here, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye. Okay, right, so we just came down this way on the other side of this. There's, like, some more shops, but we just exited the port, and we're going to go this way. And then right through here is, of course, Senior Fox. We think we can access it going this way, but if not, we'll have to go down the street and around. I think if I remember correctly, you do have to go down the street and around, but Lewis thinks we can probably go through Senior Fox. Yeah, We're gonna um, find out. I don't, I, I was more optimistic a minute ago, but okay. we'll see. Okay. Uh, that's how you're gonna get access to water, that's how you're gonna want access to water region. Oh. Is there anything else that you're thinking? Um, All right, and pro tip number three is make sure that you wear shoes when you're walking around the resort here, when you're walking around the water park, because it is very slippery. I fell and <laughs> broke my caucus. Yeah. No. I did not capture that on camera, y'all. My bad. No, actually, I fell and I bounced. And... <laughs> All right, thanks.